just a few days away and we have the perfect chilled dish that you are going to absolutely love. So Chef Mark is gonna walk us through it, but we also have some guests here today. Yes, we do. We have Helen Martin, resident of Lutheran Hillside Village, and my mother, Virginia Schutman, also resident of Hillside Village. So they're here today to make a very special parfait. This is a great Easter parfait. It's all chilled, so it's easy to put together, throw in the cooler. Kids love it, adults love it. You're gonna make it, you're gonna love it. And we'll go ahead and get started. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do, ladies, we're gonna lay all the fruits and the yogurts in there. So we're using Greek yogurts for the health benefits, more proteins, better proteins, and all fresh berries and granola. So there's really not a lot of added sugar to this. So it's really a nice little, uh, kind of a healthy type yeah. treat too. So ladies, let's begin. The first thing we're gonna do is put granola at the bottom of your cups. You just gotta get in there. You just get in there, yeah. Woo! Don't be afraid, don't feel, <laughs> dig right in. You can use a spoon or you'll use your hands. You've got your sanitary gloves on, so. That's right, and this is gonna show up in your evaluations this month, you know, so I want you guys to pay attention here, all right? Okay, next we're gonna work from the outside in. We've got blackberries, Virginia blackberries over there. Okay, so we're gonna put about four blackberries on top of there. See how fast these go together? These are pretty quick. These this are. is something you can whip up, you know, Sunday morning. And yeah. Just be ready to serve. Absolutely, and the kids will love them. Next, we're gonna layer yogurt. So the first yogurt we're gonna use is a honey yogurt. Yeah, right there Ooh, on the outside. A honey yogurt. A honey yogurt, something a little different. And don't be afraid of it, just get in there and glob it in there because this is a layered dish, you can't mess it up. Okay, next, you ready, Virginia? We're gonna go ahead and use strawberries. Strawberries will be your next one to put down. Yum. I love strawberries. Oh, me too. Especially me too. garden grown. Ooh, yeah, and there's, that's perfect. My goodness. The key is you want to be able to see them from the outside. So if you get too many, you can always just stick your finger in there and just kind of push them to the outside. They look okay. great. So you have those nice colors. Next, we'll put some strawberry yogurt on there. Perfect. Strawberries with strawberry yogurt. You can't go wrong. Are you kidding me? I, we got honey, strawberry, <laughs> blackberries. We're doing good. And it's pretty colors. It is pretty colors. Okay, next. We're gonna put some fresh blueberries in there. I is feel every... like we need some, you know, an anthem, <laughs> we, right? We need some background music. <laughs> Here's your blueberries. Yep. Blueberries there, Virginia. Okay, how do they look? I think they look really nice. Coming along nice. They are. So next okay. we're gonna do granola. And a nice generous amount there. Okay. Cover up those blueberries. Yeah, don't be scared. Yeah, look at you digging with your hands. I see, it gotta be messy or it's not that fun if you're not messy. Okay. Next, we're going to go ahead and do our vanilla yogurt on top of that. Uh -huh. It looks good. It you looks got good. It. Next, <laughs> Look we're going to go ahead and put some raspberries on top of that. We've moved on to raspberries. Okay, yep. I'm going to get the. I know, we've got all these berries everywhere. Next, I'm going to put some uh -huh. nice topping on there. Look at all those raspberries. You know who loves raspberries. <laughs> but not to be outdone, Helen says. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna put a nice dollop of whipped topping on top of that. And now comes the raspberry part, right? Yeah, so this is the finishing touch. Look at what work you've done so far. It looks fantastic. So what we're, gonna, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take a raspberry, put a raspberry right on top, and then we've got You'll the most it. beautiful part yet, the rabbit. And you're each gonna to get to do your <laughs> own rabbit. So you Virginia, you wanna grab your rabbit over there to your right. Okay. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your rabbit and just dip its ears straight down in the chocolate, just the tips, and then into the sprinkles. You don't need a whole bunch, just a little Cute. bit. And then into the sprinkles, okay? Love it. And then we stick those right into the back of the parfait. Look at that. Oh, oh my goodness. It's adorable. Yeah, that's kind of the finishing touch. Then we'll put our little sprig of fresh mint on that. Very nice, ladies. Very, very nice. Look at that. That's spur Cute. that is definitely springtime in a glass, is it not? Oh, absolutely. My and goodness. It's festive. It's beautiful, and I'm sure it tastes just as good. And we will do a taste test in just a few minutes. But first, we're going to check in with your local weather authority, and these ladies are going to tell you what they think about it. 